error bars is now available for you. So here you can see I have a line and I've just added a 10% error bar here. So let me, I'll go ahead and quickly show you how you can do that. So this is just a duplicate of that page. I've got a line chart here. So the error bar works with, with the line chart at the moment. I can go to the add further analysis to your visuals. The error bars section here, and there's actually quite a lot. Let me just open that up. Quite a few options. So you could have the bar, the line, a shaded area, markers, etc. So first we do need something to drop. So I need an upper bound and a lower bound. So I've just written here a simple formula, uh, which is just, if we have a look, it's just plus, plus or minus 10%. So I'll drop the lower into the lower bound and the upper into the upper bound. And if I turn the line off and the bar on, you can see here, sorry, tooltips are going the way. Uh, it creates error markers. So, and obviously this can be based on any measure that you want to drop into there. Um, or you can put a line, which, which looks quite good as well. Um, if I play around with the transparency, So we can see in here, now I have like a shaded line following like this. So error bars are, are available. Just a reminder, they are in the add for further analysis, or I call it the advanced analysis, little magnifying glass there. So that's my second one to show you. And the third